Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff Farina from Jeff.TV. Here to do another unboxing, and this is one that you're actually going to see on the channel, on this YouTube channel, um, a lot. And that is, as you can see in front of you, the Elgato Game Capture HD. What this is going to allow me to do is take capture, take video of the games I play, specifically multiplayer matches in Halo, Call of Duty, future games. There's also a little feature I want to do, which I'll be divulging uh, in, in the near future once I actually start uh, that feature. Um, so this will allow me to do all that. Just want to unbox it before we jump in though, as you can see. Here it is in the front. Now, I had used the Hapog uh, HD PVR before, but I found it very bulky. And the big thing for me was there was no Mac support. What Elgato did was they came out with this guy, made it pretty cheap, and it has Mac support. Uh, so as you can see here, tech spec wise, um, it'll use you, you basically USB to your Windows computer or your Mac computer, whatever it may be. But you can use your Xbox 360 with the HDMI. If you want to use PS3, you have to use the AV in, uh, or maybe go through an HDMI switcher. That's because Sony has the PlayStation encrypting the HDMI uh, output, so that's not going to work in this case with this. Uh, supported resolutions are 480p, 480i, 576p, which again, you're not really going to use those anymore. Um, but so 720p for the HD in that sense at 1080i, um, so it won't do 1080p, kind of a letdown, but hey, it is what it is. Um, here you go, these are the actual system requirements. So for Mac, if you're using your Mac, you need OS 10.7 with at least a 2 gigahertz dual core um, processor, and then there you go for PC, Windows 7. I'm sure it'll use Windows Vista or Windows XP, just make sure you have at least 4 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead. And just get it open. So I'm assuming this is probably actual size here. But, yep, and there you have it. So, pretty small. We'll come back to this in a second. But, basically tells you how to get started here. You have to actually go and download the software. Which is good that they don't include a CD. It's kind of a pain, but... You go to their website, download the CD, especially where my MacBook Pro is the Retina MacBook Pro. It doesn't have a CD drive, and that's happening more and more often. So, hey, that's fine with me. Don't get my hopes up. Here we have what looks like, yep, this is that AV cable that I was mentioning. So this is actually an HDMI cable right here on one end. And on the other, it's an S-Video. So that's how you're going to connect your PlayStation 3. They give you an HDMI cable. Not bad. You don't see that happen too often. You're going to actually need that. Another AV adapter here. Component and composite. And then here is the USB 2.0. This will definitely be getting used. This is how the magic happens more or less. So it's a USB mini on the side of the actual device. This will plug into your computer. So looking at the actual game capture. So here you have the HDMI, let's do HDMI in. So basically from your Xbox or technically your PlayStation your, or whatever it may be, you're gonna go in here to the HDMI in and on the other end, HDMI out, that will go to your TV or surround sound receiver or your monitor, whatever it may be that you're actually seeing the game on. And then the USB out will go to your laptop, to your PC. That's what's gonna allow you to actually record the video game footage to your computer. So to give you a size comparison, Here's my Galaxy S3, so it's shorter, it's definitely fatter. Uh, it's plastic, as you can hear, pretty much weighs nothing. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do now is get this software all installed on, once again, the Retina MacBook Pro. And we'll start to take some capture. We'll probably start off with some Halo 4 multiplayer matches. I'm hoping this is going to let us do live streaming. Uh, the simulcast guys and the Gadget Guru guys were hoping to eventually get some live streaming going. Maybe some community matches, so this could be a good benefit to us. Now, there are some rubber feet here in the bottom, so it won't actually move. So this is going to probably be stationary on top of my TV stand. Probably, probably on top of my Xbox 360, uh, which I'm going to be using to do capture 99% of the time. So it'll stay right there. Whenever I want to do the capture, I'll just plug it in to my laptop that way. So, as always, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for what I'll actually do. Give you a couple examples of what this looks like quality wise and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks everyone